Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the perfect drop mixture for your water drop photography. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography, the channel that will help you take your photography to the next level. If you haven't done so already, head over to firstmanphotography.com, fill in your details to join the email list and I'll send you a free copy of the ebook on how to capture perfect exposure every time. Okay, let's get into this. I'm probably best known for my water drop photography. I love it, many of you love it, so it's quite likely that it will pop up on my channel occasionally and today is one of those days. I now have a series of videos covering water drop photography. The first one is how to shoot water drop photography. That's proven to be one of my most popular videos to date. I have one showing you how to use the Splash Art 2 drop system. I have another one that shows you how to edit water drop photography. And then another one that just covers a general editing session from one of my water drop photography shoots. In this video, I'm going to answer a question that many, many of you have been asking. And that is what mixture or what is the secret to the mixture I use in my water drop photography to give it that really nice glass finish to the image. Well, the secret is xanthan gum and this can be bought very cheaply from a health food store and it will last you a long time because you really don't need much. I'm going to show you the technique for mixing it up that I use and then you can hopefully go and emulate that for your own shoots. But you do need to do a little bit of experimentation for yourself because every shoot with water drop photography is different. Like I've said before, you can use many different liquids, but using xanthan gum really gives you that fine control because you can adjust the mixture so easily. So the way I do it is to start with about a pint of water and I use warm water because xanthan gum really does not like to dissolve in water. It will do because that's how we achieve the images obviously, but it just doesn't like it. So warm water will help it dissolve. So like I said, you really don't need much of this. About half a teaspoon is all you need. So with this dessert spoon, just right on the edge of the spoon. And then you want to just really carefully dust it into the water because if you put it all in at once, it's just gonna clump together and it won't dissolve. So just dust it over the top of the water like this. And then once it's all in, just start to stir it. You can get the water spinning beforehand and then dust it into there and it will mix a little bit easier, but then just give it a good stir and mix it all up. You're gonna get quite a lot of the gum sticking together, but you don't need to worry about that. And I generally just leave the gum in the water and prepare it overnight so it does, as much as possible will dissolve. If you then still have a few lumps in it the next day when you come to do your shoot, it can easily be sieved off into another container and that's often what I will do because I want the highest quality shots I can possibly get with my water drop photography because you're in so close and there's so much detail in that water. If you find that your solution is a little bit thick, you don't need to worry about that because you can, you've then just got the ability to water it down to the perfect consistency. So when we're talking about consistency, you want to have a consistency similar to something like olive oil or melted butter so it's really still quite liquidy because you don't want it to be too thick. If it's thick like treacle, it's not going to come out the end of the dropper well enough because when the dropper fires those two drops down, it will get stuck in the nozzle and you won't have that precise control over those drops, which is in, in the end what gives you the collisions. So once you have this, it's settled overnight. It's gone nice and thick, like I said, with that decent consistency. So that is your base mixture. Once you've got that, you can just use that straight up into the water dropper or I like to add food coloring quite often. It is food coloring that gives the color to my shots. So we'll go with this pink one on this occasion and stir some of that in. So you just literally pour it in. You can, don't be afraid to use it because you'll get that nice color. In many of my images, I like to have some opacity to the water drops as well. And to do that, I just add some milk to the mixture. So you don't need to use all milk because you're bringing the consistency in to the liquid with the xanthan gum. So you just need a little bit to make the water go opaque and then just pour that in, stir it in, and then you've got a nice solid color there, which will reflect much more light back. So you need to adjust your, your flash settings or your ISO settings. You can then just go ahead, add more food coloring to start doing different things. You can put milk into your water bath as well. Experiment with different consistencies, different liquids, and that's really gonna be your your workplace, your canvas to create these amazing 
water drop images. So then once you've got your mixture, you can just pour it straight in to your water dropper into the reservoir here, and then you can start shooting those water drop images. Like I said, if it's too thick, water it down, play with different consistencies and create those amazing images. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a thumbs up if you did or if you found it useful. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you check out the other water drop photography tutorials that I've done and then you can start creating some of these images for yourself. Please as well, subscribe to the channel where there's videos going up every Wednesday and every Sunday and I'll see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography, out.